Yes, uh, obviously, I've been, I've been in eight uh, weekends, my career, six as an all-star, two as a rising star. And, you know, like, you know, in the beginning, you're always like, you're excited, you're doing everything, you're doing all the interviews, you know, you're shooting extra shots on the court. Uh, but then you realize, man, you, you grow a little bit, you have kids, they don't let you... Uh, to sleep the night before, um, and you realize, like, hey, you know, I have a long season um, ahead of me, so I just gotta enjoy this weekend as much as possible. Uh, do what I do, what makes me happy, and uh, keep it going. Um, like we've been close obviously since we were kids and um, you know being like growing up in a very small house um, sleeping in the same bed uh, makes you close like you have no other option but at the end of the day like I try to involve uh, in, you know everything I do my brothers you know uh, just bring them along in the journey and they do the same for me too right so like, whenever my little brother travels in different cities that I've never been, he sends me pictures, right? Like he brings me along to his journey. Uh, but like, you know, I think that's what life is about. You know, my mom is here, my brother's here, my, my kids are here, and we keep growing, growing every year. So I'm happy, you know, that I'm in a position that I can, you know, bring them along with me and they, they can have fun and enjoy the process also. Yes. No, like uh, I've I've seen Ja, like he's improved every single year, like he's having an unbelievable year this year, crazy. Um, I know that he's a very humble kid. I know he works extremely hard, and, and you know, like, why not? Like, why he cannot win a championship in Memphis? Like, I, th you know, I think that a lot of people think that it cannot it cannot be done, you know, and that's something that. He should like literally consider like a lot of people think that he cannot do it like that for me that motivates me even more you know when you know people think like you got to go to a big market to win a championship you got to join this guy to win a championship you got to do that that this this to be able to you know be in the top but it's not necessarily true you just got to do what makes you happy you know and um i think he's happy where he is right now and he can he has an unbelievable team they have great culture they have a great coach um, the sky is the limit for them, but uh, at the end of the day, like he got to do what makes him happy. You know, being in Memphis for 15 years, 20 years, trying to win a championship, which can be done, makes him happy. He should do that. If moving somewhere else makes him happy, he should do that too. Like, but I feel like his story is unbelievable. Like he's uh, he's going to be really good. Ooh, big time question, huh? Uh, I don't know. Like, obviously, um, you know, every single day that goes by, I try to do what I can do to uh, be ready and uh, improve my game. If we're gonna go back to back, I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Can't predict the future. Uh, but uh, I know one thing: that I do whatever uh, I can today to be the best player I can be today. And hopefully that puts me in a position that I can win the back-to-back -back title. Oh, yes, I miss him. I miss him, man. He, was, he used to be on Zoom. Now he's not even on Zoom anymore. Yeah. What is Eric? Exactly. So, so, no, no. I'm not talking to Eric no more. I ain't talking to Eric no more. He's probably so with LeBron, be the big-time players, you know, LeBron, Steph. Yeah, man, I knew he was fake. <laughs> what? Tell him I love him a lot. We want him back.
about his personality made you guys have such a good time together last year and you kind of Oh, he's he's a great great guy, uh, fun guy to be around, and just chill, down to earth. You know, like he he really doesn't care about all this. He's just here to do what he got to do and go back to his family. You know, and you not know, gravitate towards that because that's that's how I am as a as a person too. So, and he's fun. He's a great guy to play with on the court. Like he plays the right way. He's a system guy, uh, and you know. By me doing my job, cutting and you know going for labs and stuff, I know he's going you know going find me. So it's fun to play with him, but also fun to be around him in the, the locker room, in the bus. Great guy. I don't know. I think he's way funnier than me. He's the Joker, so he's way funnier than me. That's a great question, man. Wow, oh, man. Um, do I care? You know, I think the correct answer here is. Yeah, no, I. You know, like no, I don't care. You know, uh, you know, I'm trying to win games and stuff. But like, I, I view it this way. I view that at the end of the day, you gotta run your own race, um, and I gotta be the best that I can be. Now, where that's gonna take me, I don't know. But like I don't, you know, I don't look at um, Magic, Kevin Garnett, Scottie Pippen, KD, LeBron. I don't look at them. I'm like, yeah, I want that. I'm always, I'm like, how can I be the best that I can? How can I maximize my own potential? How can I, at the end of the day, when I finish my career, I look back and I give everything, wherever that takes me, which I hope <laughs> I'm one of the best to ever play. But if I'm not, it doesn't matter to me because I know that I gave everything. Like I, I'm literally obsessed with basketball. You know, I dream basketball um, every single night. You know, like I didn't know that. I, you know, I, when at first when I started playing basketball, I didn't know that. But now that I'm growing up, I'm like, man, like, I think I'm, I'm obsessed with this thing. Like I study the game, I watch other players, I do whatever I can to be ready to play the game. I take care of my body. You know. And I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with whatever that lands me. You had the opportunity as a free agent to join for the force. I haven't seen that in the past 10 years. Some of the great ones, you know, you feel it like a talent, you can motivate, you can motivate, you can have a talent. When you decided to stay, is that a message that you're trying to say, I want to oh. be the best, but I want to be the best in, in, in the world? I, I joined the best. Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis. They are the best, you know. Uh, that's what that's what made me happy at the time, and that's what I wanted. That's what I did. Um, you know, like I didn't even thought about it that deep. You know, like joining the best and uh, you know joining forces and you know big threes and all that. I was just like, hey, you know, I'm just going to stay in Milwaukee. Uh, I think I can do it here. I have great teammates here. Great, you know, great organization. Great coach. Uh, it's a great place to be, and I was like, okay, you know, I stay, stayed in Milwaukee, and we did it. And I believe that, you know, if we keep, you know, staying humble and hungry, we can do it again. You know, the sky's the limit for us. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm happy being in Milwaukee. Last question, David. To make another run for the title. I think we 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 have a great team. We're in a good place. We gotta keep building our chemistry, keep coming together, building good habits. You know, be like every year there's five, six teams that have the chance to win a championship, and as long as you're there, that's all you can ask for. You know, I've I've finished seasons with uh, with having the best record in um, the East, the best record in the NBA actually. I think one year. And we didn't win a championship, but like I know when the when the year starts, there's five six teams that really have a chance. Everybody wants to win it, but there's five six teams. So just being there, that's all you can ask for. Keep building good habits. You have a little bit of luck. 
you guys, you know, as a team, we started playing good basketball towards the end. Um, maybe we can do it again. Who, who knows? Like, but we're in a good place. We have a hell of a team.